Hi guys, I'm Alex and I'm here with the HP Elitebook from 2019 or 2020. Um, I show you how to replace the battery or replace the solid state disk, NVMe solid state disk. So it's well, very easy, I say it's very easy. So you can remove all the Torx screws here. You can use a Torx screwdriver T5 here and I'm already removed most of the screws one two three four five six I removed the last one here and I use this magnetic holder so you can use a here the scrap thing or a plastic card credit plastic card or old so now I'm grabbing here, be very, very, very careful. And now we open, clack, 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 clack. And lift up, voila. And now we can see, a little bit zoom in. Here is the NVMe solid state disk. In this model, it's from Intel with uh, 512 gigabyte. So you can insert, uh, I think, up to four, four terabyte. Uh, that's no problem. Um, so you can also see you can't upgrade the memory, the RAM, because it's fixed on the main board or motherboard. So the CPU is also fixed on the motherboard. You can't replace normally. You can't replace the uh, the CPU or the graphic CPU or the memory. So that's it. And if you want to remove the battery, we have to remove the battery. Here the type of the battery is the BL04XL. That's, I think there are different types of batteries for this series. So if you want to remove the battery, we do it for you. Let's zoom in. Remove here the screws. One, two. Here's a normal screwdriver. Three. And four and five. Oh, and five. Uh. So now we very careful. The last screw here in this corner. One, two, three. Here's the four. And now, be very careful, you can remove the battery here, oops, that's it. And now you can insert another battery. So and you can also see here the, the touchpad, you can replace the touchpad here with the screws, you can see the keyboard is fixed on the palm rest on this cover so better you replace the complete keyboard if you have a water damage you have to disassemble the motherboard but in this video i only show you how to replace the solid state disk so i use a screwdriver here i do it for you oh, and now very careful. What's going on here? There's a little plastic card. So now the solid state disk is removed. And if you want to insert a new one here, plug in, you can find here this. And remove and plug in and back with the screw 
and that's it. So um, interesting is you can clean here this this fan. If you already open the laptop, better you clean the fan. Be very careful with air pressure is the best you can do. Um, and you can replace this this fan. Here you can find the part number from HP and, and the serial numbers. You can replace both of these fans or you can disassemble the, the holder here for the CPU um, cooling. So remove them and you can replace this unit. So that's it. If you have any questions, write in the comments and have a nice day.